hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make a squash casserole. A couple of weeks ago, I went Facebook Live and I asked, what are some of the recipes that you want to see me make? And squash casserole was at the top of the list. And let me tell you, it wasn't number one by the hair of its chinny chin chin. I can't tell you how many people requested that I make this. So here we go. Now I have my skillet heated on a medium high heat and I'm adding about a half of a stick of butter to my skillet. Nothing better than butter. This is about five medium sized squash and I cut it up all about the same size. That way it's gonna cook evenly. Squash has a lot of water in it, so that's why we're sauteing this first, and I'm going to cook it down. Now, I'm also adding a chopped onion. You can add the sweet onions or white onion, whatever you prefer, and that's just a, a small to medium-sized onion. Now, I'm going to show it a little love and add a little s and Just a pinch. Now, I am going to saute this uncovered until these onions and squash get really tender and most of the liquid cooks out. And that's gonna take anywhere from, let's say, 15 to 20 minutes. It could take even longer. I'm using a really large skillet because that's going to help that moisture evaporate even faster. So the larger the skillet, the better you are. I'm going to let this cook. Every now and then, I'll come back and give it a stir, but for the most part, it's doing what it's supposed to. See you back here when it's done. I've just turned off the heat to my squash. For us, this is cooked perfectly. It's nice and soft, but it still has some texture to it. Now, if you like your squash casserole cooked down really soft, then just cook your squash a little longer. My squash has cooked down and I've cooked out most all of the liquid. And as you can see, I still have a little bit of texture to it. I like the texture. I wanna know when I'm eating it that I'm actually eating squash. So I don't cook it down all the way. Now for the other ingredients. I'm adding a cup of sour cream. Y'all, this is so good. This, by the way, is the only way that my husband will eat squash. I'll never forget one time we were at my Aunt Gail's and she had cooked up squash, which we all love. And it was just squash and onions, a little bit of seasoning, and my husband thought it was creamed corn. Oh my goodness. Needless to say, I helped him out on that one. Now I'm also adding a little over a half of a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. And last, I have cream of chicken soup. Now, sometimes I'll add cream of mushroom soup. Really, it's a preference, but the cream of chicken soup with the sour cream and cheese and squash is so good. Now, I've got two eggs. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly beat these. That egg is just going to bring everything together. And I'm going to give this a stir and mix it all together. I'm always looking for a shortcut and I'm doing this right in my casserole dish. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess chances are that I can't. <laughs> there we go. That looks just right. Now I'm topping this with Ritz crackers and I always buy the short stacks. So I've got two short stacks and I'm going to crush these. And that is going right on top. 
y'all, this is the perfect finishing touch for the squash casserole. This already looks delicious. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and this is going in for about 45 minutes. We just want it to be nice and bubbly in the center and golden brown. Oh, y'all, I can't wait until you see the finished product. Mm, so good. Look at this beautiful casserole. Oh, it smells and looks delicious. I've been letting this rest for about 10 minutes. It's important whenever you're cooking a casserole to let it rest. Now, let's see how this tastes. I can hardly wait. It's hot. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, this is so good. It's comfort food at its best. Oh my goodness. It's got such a great flavor to it. The cream of chicken soup and the sour cream, a little bit of cheese, and then that fresh squash. It's absolutely delicious. I could eat this and be perfectly satisfied. I don't need anything else. My husband might have something to say about that, but mm, for me, this does it. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching. Will you press the like button and share this video with your friends? And don't forget to subscribe to my page on YouTube and Facebook. Mm, yum. Well, thank you for picking this squash casserole as the top recipe. I agree with you. There's nothing better. I'll see you next time. Bye.